With 20 minutes remaining in St. Louis, the Blues lead the Islanders three to nothing. Well, Billy Carroll hasn't put the puck in the net all season. It's been a long one for him. Ed Westfall with his visit now. Thank you, Jiggs. My guest between periods, the master at putting the puck on the post, and the pads, <laughs> Billy Carroll. Billy, uh, doesn't seem to bother you with the way you play that you haven't scored a goal. Does it inside? Oh yeah, it uh, it really you know it bothers you, but uh, it's not something I'm going to let get me down and uh, be in a miserable mood away from the ice. Uh, I'm in a bad enough mood while I'm here. I might as well go home happy. <laughs> but that's not really your role. But I I know that uh, I know that the thinking isn't always that way. A goaltender would love to score a goal. Yeah, no, they haven't. Uh, management hasn't given me a hard time yet, or uh, you know, asking for goals yet. But it still would be nice to get a couple and uh, chip in that way. You have to be pleased, though. You're playing a lot. You're getting a lot more ice time and being effective. You're getting the opportunity. Yeah, uh, you know, this is a, a really funny year. I've had a lot of chances, more so, I think, than uh, any year since I've been here. And it's just a matter of uh, nothing going in the net. How much do you change, then? For instance, uh, we watched a couple of times you come out in the warm-up and hit a goal post. Do you think about that? No, I really don't uh, Don't think about it too much in warm-up. Uh, you know, the guys, they don't let you forget it. And... Uh, I try not to think about it at all. You've been killing penalties on a regular basis, as well as taking a pretty regular shift. That must uh, must send messages to you, because I know athletes are always looking for signs. Yeah, it's uh, right now we have extra players, and I think everybody's sort of just trying to uh, stay in the lineup. And uh, no matter where they play, whether it's left wing, right wing, or killing penalties, uh, I think the main thing is as long as you're dressed right now, and uh, hopefully I can stay dressed. How about the mood now? You've uh, you've been to the dressing room and obviously you're into a hockey game at this point with the interview. How about the mood in the dressing room now that the trade deadline is over and uh, the Islanders stood pat? Well, uh, everybody's really happy. Nobody wanted to leave the Islanders and uh, everybody's a lot looser. Hopefully now we'll start playing the way we can and uh, forget everything that's happened to this point and start from here. Billy, a lot of times uh, people, uh, maybe underneath it all, would be relieved if they were traded in some ways obviously no one wants to leave a defending stanley cup champion but are the players hoping to either get the deadline over with or get a trade made just to get you know some relief so they can get on yeah well uh it's funny i think uh, maybe a lot of guys if they do want to get traded i think this is the wrong time of year to get traded you've spent uh, 70 games here and uh, playoffs are coming around and you have a good chance of winning it you might as well stay the rest of the year and, and worry about your trades in the uh, off season or whatever but uh I can't say anybody's disappointed that they're still here. And the money's not bad for finishing, uh, I mean, not so much for finishing, but the playoff chances. Yeah, that's it. Uh, you might as well give that a good chance, and uh, this is the best place to do it. What do you see for Billy Carroll now coming down? Uh, you got the playoff stretch, playoffs. How about your career? What do, you, uh, what do you think about when you have a moment? Well, I've given that a lot of thought this year, and uh, I've talked to management about it, and uh, that's something that we're going to have to worry about later, and uh, hopefully right now I'll just forget all that and, uh, and try and win another Stanley Cup. Do you have a preference, Billy? Uh, have you developed one as far as who you like to play with, uh, who you feel comfortable with when you're out on the ice? Well, uh, you know, Butch and I have played together now for a couple of years, and uh, we're more or less comfortable when we kill penalties together. But as far as the regular line goes, uh, I really haven't felt comfortable anywhere yet, and uh, hopefully it'll fit in with the line somewhere along the line. I want to know what the guys are saying to you now at this point in the season about your goal production. I don't think I have to tell you. I, <laughs> no, you know. I want to hear. Our fans would love to hear. <laughs> well, you know, they... Uh... Do they think now they'll give you the business about they'll be disappointed if you do get one? <laughs> no, one of them gave me a puck in practice the other day for the first, but uh, other than that, no, they, uh, they come up with all the lines, and it's something new every day, and... Uh, it's just a matter of having a lot of fun with it right now. I even have a lot of fun with it, so it doesn't really bother me. Let me get back just a minute, Billy, to the uh, to the aspect of, of trades. Do the players, or have the players uh, prior to today um, either started some of their own rumors or made up what they think might happen? No, uh, it seems to be a lot of the time uh, it seemed to be the same names popping up in, uh, in different trades. And What were some of them just by... Well, Can't. no, like we came in here today and they had uh, Dennis and Stefan and uh, Anders Keller going to uh, Pittsburgh and uh, those three guys were a little worried and then you read another paper and it would be uh, a couple of different guys, but we try not to uh, go on that. I remember Dwayne and Brent Sutter got their names into a rumor and that was all started from guys just fooling around and having a good time with it and uh, it got into all the newspapers. Did you start the rumor? No, no, it wasn't I'm me, told that you're, you're the kind of guy that would do that. <laughs> No, not to those two. 
Billy Carroll, I hope that by the time this is aired that you'll have had your first goal, and if it doesn't, I hope it comes in the third period or sometime soon, just to make you feel better and all of us. Oh, thank you very much, Eddie. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Now back up to you, Jake. Tonight's guest will receive the original members-only strap collar racing jacket. It's today's most exciting, most wanted jacket. Members-only. When you put it on, something happens at fine stores everywhere. Well, Billy Carroll has not scored to this point, and the Blues lead the Islanders 3-0 after two periods. We'll return to the Checker Dome following these messages. <laughs> 